you know, your family and the story, in the essence, is not different from a lot of families' story. You know, mm-hmm. there's a lot of family that there's God-fearing family, and one of the children goes in a different direction that maybe the family doesn't want to go in. And now that you all are where you are, how are you feeling about that? Well, you know, I have a saying that I've always said uh, to the children when they were young. You know, I I used to say, right or wrong, good or bad, you're mine. You know, and I can't give you that. So I look at it like this, you know, my sons are, are, you know, paying for the wrong that they have done, but they did a lot of good also, and I recognize that. You know, and we're doing good, you know. It's been a tremendous strain on the family, but we've been able to, you know, go through this ordeal and, like I said, still be, you know, be strong, you know. In one of my last conversations with Michi, you know, I said you are so smart that there is no difference between you being the head of an IBM corporation, the same as you are the head of this BMF organization a very smart guy. Exactly. He's smart and he's gifted. When you look at it, Meech built an empire and, and he, he did the legwork and in the entertainment business. And um, Meech, well, what, what I'm trying to say is not just because he's my son, he is a brilliant man. You know, he, he is very smart and he has a great, you know, business sense. As mom, if you could have done something different, would you have? As a mom, if I could have did something different, I don't think that I would do life any different because I raised my children up in the church. This is what they got from me, you know. I raised them up in the knowledge of God and, and the Bible according to the, you know, the laws of the Bible. Fearing God. Um, yes, being a God-fearing family, and, and I don't think that would change anything, you know, because the, the one scripture I always kept in mind was when the Bible said, train a child on the way to go, and when it grows old, it will not depart from it. So I feel like I, I did what the Bible said, you know, I, I raised my children up in the church, and, and I, I, did, I gave the kids the best life that I could possibly give them. One of the interesting things about Meach was that he was, for a lot of people didn't know, like a homebody. He would like to stay at home with his kids. He would watch TV and, you know, it's always movies and popcorn. And he was, there was another side that people didn't know. People did too, yes. Yes, and Meach is a family oriented. You know, he, he loves his family. He loves, he loves his family that he made out here, you know, and that's his being my family, and he loves his blood family. I remember how uh, when I would go and visit Leach with uh, with his children, I would take the grandchildren to meet to visit with their father. We would always have, you know, family night, which we would uh, sit down and watch a movie, pop popcorn, and cook dinner together. This is the side that people didn't see of me. I have a lot of respect for my son because he has great character and he's a man of integrity and he's very loyal. It's the Frank and Wanda Morning Show on the People's Station.